Hello, Coyote Artists. So for this last nine weeks, we're going to be talking about the studio habits of mind. So as artists, we use the studio habits, and that is how we create and behave as artists. So let's get started. Studio, what do artists do? Studio habits of mind, how we think and behave like an artist. So today we're going to talk about engage and persist. I can focus. I do not give up. Learning to take up subjects of personal interest and importance within the art world. So that just means making pictures of things that you like or you think are important. Learning to develop focus in other helpful ways of thinking and persevering at art tasks. So you don't give up, you continue working on your project until it is finished. Uh, so now friends, you need to go to the Google Classroom and click on the video to hear the story called The Ugly Doodles. So how did Raven uh, actually create her masterpiece? That's right, she went back and she took a second look at her ugly doodles and she noticed that they weren't so ugly after all. She erased, she added color to them, she went over, maybe she traced to some of them again, maybe she added things to it. But there's a way to go back and turn your mistakes into masterpieces. Here are some other tips if you are trying to engage and persist in your artwork. First of all, be inspired by ideas you care about. If you pick a subject of something that you would like to create that you like, you should be able to engage and persist, uh, focus and finish your artwork uh, much more. Second of all, try your hardest. Find a nice quiet space to create. Number three, troubleshoot problems. If you don't know how an idea in order to fix your artwork, maybe you can ask a friend or a family member. Just ask them, hey, what do you think about my art? What could I do to do differently? Number four, you can turn a mistake into something new. So you did have fun, one idea, but it's okay to change your idea in your artwork. Maybe it turns out to be a better idea in the long run. And number five, take a break. If you're frustrated with what you're doing right now from in your art, then take a break. Go outside, go for a walk, or do something different and then try to go back to it to see if you can figure out how to solve your problem. Okay, friends, I can't wait to see your masterpieces that you create this week. It can be a drawing, it can be a painting, it can be a sculpture, it can be something that you sew anything that you would like to do, and as long as you're inspired by your own ideas, and it's something that you care about, just remember to engage and persist, to focus, and to try to not give up. Bye, coyotes.